Hello and welcome to the second video in my series about the Revox A77 reel to reel tape recorder. In this episode I'm going to be removing these boards, the amplifier boards, the bias board. We can get them out and put them away safely and that will expose the motherboard behind which we can then have a look at. So let's start by removing the bottom plate which is holding all these boards in. So first I'll just put it on a pillow to just remove these four screws. Right, and it slides out like this. see all of the uh, adjustments that someone made in the past wherever there's a hole someone has had a screwdriver in there and been turning stuff and the ones that haven't been punched through haven't been adjusted so I'm going to put these screws back in because that's how I can make it easy to remember where they came from there are so many screws in these things that if you don't do something like this you will quickly lose track unless you put them all on a piece of paper with text labeling what's what but I find this is the easiest way to remember some of the screws at least ones that can just go straight back in where they came from so first of all this one this is the input amplifier it's just it's stereo on one board so this side and that side are the same components what's weird about this board and I've seen this on more than one deck this capacitor has a counterpart on the other channel to so there's the two channels but the second capacitor is on the back well, I don't know why they did that it seems to be a thing they did at the factory for some reason that one's at the back it might have been a design flaw and they corrected it by hacking it onto the back I don't know so that's the input amplifier put that down next is the record amplifier for channel 1 so this is just one channel a big sticky up capacitor there rec amp here okay here is the record relay and dummy load board so so there's a relay and this is some sort of dummy load it says it on the um, on the panel you can adjust this thing so there it is Rec relay Next is the oscillator board, which is for the erase and bias oscillator. It's very dirty, but everything in this machine is very dirty, but we'll fix that later. So, uh, Oh, 
oscillator. Hmm. There we are. After that, we have the record amplifier for channel two, which is identical to the record amplifier for channel one. So we still have the sticky up capacitor again and the same pots and everything, all the same. Should be identical. And then after that, the two reproduce amplifiers, one for each channel. This is channel two first. And the same for channel one. They should be identical as well. So removing those cards exposes the motherboard which goes all the way across the front of the machine and it has this peculiar switch which is a very long brown thing with lots of different contacts. So when you turn the power switch you can switch it between different speeds as well and that moves this uh, brown switch across and changes amplifier settings such as equalization and so on. So that's it for the moment. In the next episode we'll be looking at the transport control board which has the relays and the notorious reefer caps on it. So I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.